When people say to me, you know, do you regret removing him? My answer is no. How can you regret moving, removing somebody who was a, a monster, who created enormous carnage, not just amongst his own people, but, but amongst the people of the region? And I believe very sincerely and deeply that he was a security threat, that if we hadn't dealt with him then, we would have had to have come back and dealt with him another time. And if you look at what's happening in the Arab Spring today, and you, you examine what's happening in Syria, just reflect on what Bashar Assad, who is a 20th of as bad as Saddam, is doing to his people today, and the number of lives already lost, just ask yourself the question, what would be happening now in Iraq if he had been left in power? But doesn't the Arab Spring tell us another truth, that if we had done nothing, Saddam Hussein in all probability, would have been toppled by his own population like so many other Arab tyrants, without our intervention. And without any doubt at all, there would have been a move to topple him. But we should remember what happened when the previous moves by Iraqis, before Saddam was removed, the previous moves by Iraqis to topple him. When, what happened when they rose up in large numbers and then were killed in very large numbers? So, yes, you can, I certainly think that if Saddam had still been in power... It's true there would have been probably an uprising amongst his people, but I think it would look a lot more like Syria and probably a lot worse than Syria.